the pseudepigrapher, the book of Suedo Philo, chapter 13 and verse 4. And when the time is appointed for you to come around, and you acknowledge me as a holy on the festival day, and rejoice before me on the festival of the unleavened bread, and set before me the bread, celebrating the festival as a memorial, because on that day you went forth from the land of Egypt, and on the festival weeks you were set before me bread, and make me an offering for your fruits. Now the feast of trumpets will be an offering for your watchers. Inasmuch as I watch over creation, may you also be mindful of all the earth. At the beginning of those days, when you present yourselves, I will declare the number of those who are to die and who are to be born. A fast of mercy you will fast for me for your own souls, so that the promise made to your fathers may be fulfilled. And celebrate for me the festival of the booth, and you will take for me the beautiful branch of the tree, and the palm branch, and the willow, and the cedar, and the branches of myrtle. And I will remember the whole earth with rain. And I will remember the whole earth with rain. And I will remember the whole earth with rain. And measure of the seasons will be established. And I will fix the stars and command the clouds, and the wind will resound, and lightning bolts, and lightning bolts, and lightning bolts will rush about, and there will be a thunderstorm, and this will be an everlasting sign, and the nights will yield do, as I said after the flooding of the earth. يوم تجس كل أمة في دياجر الملمة للسؤال عن المهمة هل أجبتم الرسول يوم تجس كل أمة في دياجر الملمة للسؤال عن المهمة هل أجبتم الرسول يوم يأتي الناس وفق What you guys see right now is Bani Israel out here uh, for reparations on the query 14. This is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about reparations, query 14 to the children of Israel, the four corners of the earth. These brothers came out here when nobody else would, you know what I'm saying, to represent our nation at the Capitol, where eventually we're going to put our, the, put it in for the legislator to put in the query 14, Thomas Jefferson bill, blow the dust off of it, put it back on the table that gives us reparation, repatriation, and also repatriate us back to our homeland, right? Where nobody believe in. So this message goes out to the nations, all through the through America government, most definitely, because that's where we held at. And the other world government or the United Nations to listen to the Thomas Jefferson bill, the Query 14, and bring the children of Israel back home. Praise to the Mount, the Most High. Amen. 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 All right, we represent Bani Israel, the children of Israel in America. We have the answer. You see what's going on right now in America, the chaos, the looting, the riot. We have the answer. And our answer is query 14, Thomas Jefferson Bill. The Thomas Jefferson Bill clearly stated that we would support the so-called Negroes who were prisoners of war at that time. 
or what some may or someone may say slaves to support them when they begin when they get their skills when they become a nation of people and support them and give them their gold give them their money anything they needed and let them go free out of this country that's query 14 the bill that Thomas Jefferson put up. So our message is to the United States government, the Capitol, Congress, is that take the dust, blow the dust of Thomas Jefferson bill, query 14. And you'll see that that's the answer to the chaos. And we know that everybody won't leave, but some of us will, those who want out, and then again, under the query 14, it says that we will be allies, United States of America will be allies, be allies to these people who are known as the children of Israel or the Abara. So we don't call ourselves Hebrews because we know that's the Jewish people. We are considered the Obara people of Israel, meaning the Aborigines of that land, not only not the Aborigines of Israel, but the Aborigines of America. We were the five civilized Native Americans, Choctaw, Seminole, Chippewa. We were the children of Israel that was here before any nation got here. Our forefathers came over here, named Maroni, and we were swindled out of our land. And so therefore today, even Thomas Jefferson knew who we were. He knew that we were the children of Israel. That's the history of this country. And because he knew that, that we were held as prisoners of war, he knew that the only resort was removing these people back into their homeland under Query 14. Right? Not as American enemy, but as allies of America. Our, and if you really want to understand what happened, it our people left to a country that was created by this country called Liberia. It wasn't Africans. They were the Aborigines of this land. And they shipped them out to a country or to the colony of, of America called Liberia. We had our forefathers back over 50 years ago who left America, 1967, and the first place they went was back to that colony of Liberia. And from Liberia, they went over to the land of Israel. We're seeking to do that same passage as our forefathers did 50 years ago, over 50 years ago. And then you had another group of our people who did that uh, about 100 years ago. This was for the Aborigines. Now, what happened to them was that once they got over to Liberia, they were murdered and they were killed by the same people who sold them, or, or the same people who didn't see them, I would say that, who did not see them as their own people. What we're saying right now, under query 14, we expect America to play their child support and the alimony because everybody knows that the Aborigines, or our people, or the so-called Negroes, or the so-called ex-slaves, or the so-called prisoners of war, which were blacks, built this country. Even this place you see behind us. That's right. So our answer is to let us go free with our gold, with our weapons, right? And repatriate us, make that preparation, repatriating us back to our country Israel as your ally, not as an enemy, as an American government ally. Take and blow and, and dust that and dust that uh, uh blow the dust off the of that bill. We're planning on coming here in front of legislator and putting that bill beforehand. That's right. That's our goal. So we need all the white people not to loot. Not to destroy anything. We need you white people to come and join us in pushing that bill. You don't have to join us. 
but you can push that bill if you really want to see the so-called Negroes in America get equality. Sure. And for those who are racist, if you want us out of here and you feel that this is your country and you want the black people out of here, then push the white man's draft, which was Thomas Jefferson, the white man's plan, which was Thomas Jefferson, the white man's ideology, which was Thomas Jefferson. That's right, that's right. To get the so-called Negroes out of here under query 14. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want you to look that up and understand what is query 14. It's a plan, it's a peaceful plan, and it's a wise plan because if you do not do that, Thomas Jefferson even said out of his own mouth that it will cause a civil war or mayhem in this country. And because America was established off peace or, or established on, right on their money and God they trust, hold fast to those words of the forefathers of this country. If you believe in God or the God of the Bible, as your forefathers did, Thomas Jefferson, then stand upon query 14. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand on query 14. It is the answer. So we need all the white people, all the Asians, all the Gentiles of America to stand on query 14 and give the so-called black people in America their rights, their passage, their equality, their goal, and be allies with them. Our forefathers said 40 years ago, when they see white people stand up for the so-called Negro in America, they knew that reparations was near. So we asking Trump, as our forefather did Moses, when he went before the Pharaoh, to let our people go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the children of Israel go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can go back home, take the money, take the gold that is given to us in this country that's rightfully ours, and rebuild our tabernacle, the city of David, in the Negev of Israel, Mount Zion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not trying to leave and build houses. We're not trying to leave to become rich. We're leaving as a national, as an ally, back home to the land of Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as the Torah, the Tanakh says, or the Bible says, those who bless Israel should be blessed. Those who curse Israel should be cursed. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob has released the seal to only one person who was worthy, Esus, son of Mary, who you call Jesus. That's right. That's right. He's the only one worthy of releasing the seals. And that's why you see the plagues. That's why you see COVID-19. Let's prevent COVID-20. Let's prevent COVID-20 and release the children of Israel, Obani Israel, back into their own country. We're looking for the nations to stand on their word. We see all these signs that people are holding in America to give the so-called Negroes their rights, their freedom. And it's the sad part about it, our people don't know freedom. Our people have no idea what freedom looks like. We can't fathom what is freedom because we only been oppressed in this country. Only time we wasn't oppressed in this country was when the, the black Europeans and the white Europeans came to this country and oppressed the Aborigines who were the children of Israel. So right now as we stand before Capitol, we asking Trump we want this message to go out to you, Trump, to release Benny Israel. Hallelujah. 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 Sign Query 14. Put it before Congress. Blow the dust off Query 14. Because if you do not let us go, 
You see what happened to ancient Egypt. Everybody knows the story of Pharaoh and Bani Israel. We standing right here, right now, do not want to see that. We don't gotta live for fear. Because the God that split the sea is the God of these brothers who you see right now. That's right. The God that went before David is the God you see of these same brothers standing here right now. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Each man here has stood before the altar of Becca and Mount Zion. Hallelujah. 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 And offered our gifts and our prayers. And our prayers was to release our people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our prayers was to bring the children of Israel back home to Mount Zion to rebuild Jah Allah Tabernacle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So take heed. Take heed of these words. Because if you don't, the God of Israel was going to bring mayhem on this land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you stole the land, you know you got to bear arms to keep it. If you kill unrighteously, you know there's a, 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 a retribution for that. And that's the God of Israel and his angels coming back and destroying. But before all that happened, the plagues that are happening upon the earth right now are because of these men that you see right now. Our prayers are being heard in Mount Zion. Hallelujah. 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 Our prayers are going up to the throne of God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take heed. So we ask the United States government, don't become enemy of God by being an enemy of his people, but be an ally of God by being an ally of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That makes perfect sense. And again, the white man had the perfect answer. Thomas Jefferson was to release these people once they build skills and become a nation. Now my people, if you do not wake up and understand that you cannot stay in this country, hell is going to be released on you. That's right. That's, That's right. 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 The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob made a covenant with his children, and that was to bring them home back into their homeland. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now you understand why you're being murdered out here on these streets with guns, with police. They can kill you, and there's no retribution. Exactly. There's no retribution. You think this one, uh, uh, these four officers, are the only person who did this? No. It's happening right now. That's not even being publicized. Go ahead. Bring it out. There's people been dying every day by the hands of your oppressors. That's right. And it's warranted by the God of Israel because you have turned from this holy mountain. These wicked pastors have brought you from Mountain Hill to Mountain Hill, but they have you not look towards the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as he's the one who's doing this to you. Because you're becoming complacent in your captivity. It's time to wake up, Negro. The answer is leaving. You got three choices. You have three choices. The only choices you have is Stop complaining because you're being oppressed and being killed. Because it's almost been 20 years from now. It'll be 100 years since 1940 when the Civil Rights Movement start, started. And you ain't got nothing yet. And there has not been any improvement. It's, it'll be 100 years since Martin Luther King and Malcolm, Malcolm X started the Civil Rights Movement. And where have you gotten? So one of the answers is, it's not staying here. Because if you want to stay here, then you need to stop complaining. The next answer is, the next or, or, or the alternative is, well, you can pick up weapons and fight back. But what use is that? Because you're losing battle. These people are armed to the teeth. You're going to die. That's not the answer. And that's not our answer. And that's most definitely not the God of 
of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob plan. He never commanded you to pick up any weapon. Bring it out. He never commanded you to pick up any weapon and do anything against your oppressor. The third answer is prepare yourself to leave and rebuild newly. Don't you want to experience what it's like to have everybody look like you, your teachers, your military, your doctors, your lawyers, your nurses, your fast food workers, your army. We have never experienced that, so-called Negroes in the West, in America. Don't you want to experience and know what it feels like? Don't you want to move for your children? Don't have to go and take the, 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 the craziness that's been happening to us, your parents and your grandparents and your great-grandparents. If you really want change, the only answer is to prepare yourself to lead. And stand with us on Query 14. Thomas Jefferson bill is the key. That's right. It is the answer. Because the God of Israel used man to do his will. And that's what you forgot. You got these brothers out here teaching that they waited for Christ to come off the throne. Christ ain't never coming to America. God ain't never coming to America. Christ is going to rule from Mount Zion, Tel Arad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's going to give orders and command from there. Hallelujah. 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 It's time to wake up, America. White America, it's time to come out your dream. I am glad that you are repenting. Now that you are repenting, and many of you apologize, and many of you are not looting, we know who's doing that. We know that's being set up by the government. Exactly. We're not stupid. But black Americans know this. Those people who are, those the white people who are doing this, they're preparing you for the slaughter. Yep. You out there jumping up, joining them, throwing uh, bottles and crashing the windows. As soon as the military stump in, they're going to take a step backwards and leave you out there holding the bag. Right. Because you have been nothing but sleeping, walking dead. Bring it out. It's time to wake up. So white people, white America, if you want to join us, join us separated, but in a movement where you are front line for query 14 and reparations and we'll step back because our own people it's, it's your people who are going to listen to you they're not listening to us and God will use you and move them on your behalf and if you do not do this it was your forefathers who did all the punishment it was your forefathers who did the oppression and what is justice is the God of Israel not only punishing them in the afterlife, but punishing you here right now on earth. So your answer is query 14. That's right. That's right. And you so-called Negroes and children of Israel, your answer is preparing to lead under query 14, stepping back and letting the white man fight your battle. Because you've been fighting these battles all overseas. You've been fighting this battle in Iraq. You've been fighting this battle in Afghanistan. Come on. You've been fighting this battle in World War II. You've been fighting this battle in Vietnam. You've been fighting this battle in the Civil War. And they're gone. Now it's time to let them fight your battle. Go ahead. Let them stand for you. And if all the white people who listen to this message, if you are truly sorry, you yourself will fight freely and happily for the so-called Negroes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! You will find it pleasing to stand for people. If you consider yourself part of the human race and not animals, then stand and fight for the so-called children of Israel who were called Negroes. Even Hitler made a statement. You can look this up. Hitler made a statement. He said, what? The people, mean not the government, but the citizens of America, find out that the government has been oppressing and that has the children of Israel, God choose, 
that the people will stand up and they will feel sorry and they will stand up for the children of Israel. Hallelujah. 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 So my rightful statement to the so-called Negroes that you got a people who took your place and moved into your land in Israel. Only way you're going to get it back is you wake up and you stand up and you prepare yourself to leave this country. Other than, other than that, you're going to die here <laughs> under these same people who've been oppressing you. My elder is going to speak on Query 14. We expect it very soon to come back here before legislator and Congress. I'm asking Congress of the United States of America to hear this message, invite us into the state capitol, and let us speak on behalf of reparations and repatriating the so-called African Americans under Query 14 as your ally, not as your enemy. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the answer. Hallelujah. You have the power to bring this bill back to life. You have the power to bless the children of Israel so that you can be blessed. As the Bible says, those who bless Israel shall be blessed. And those who curse Israel shall be cursed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The 400 years is up. The 400 year prophecy has came. And I'm going to tell you, I didn't believe in it. But it looks like it's happening. For all the disbelievers, the 400 year prophecy is happening. I'm going to tell you, I didn't believe in the 400 year prophecy. But I believe in it now. Right. And the children of Israel right. stand before you, preparing, packing our bags, our suitcases, and we're ready to go. So Congress, reach out to us, the people of Obama, right. the Aborigines. We know you want right, you, we know you want to do the right thing. Right now, this government is fighting each other. The God of Israel will stand with you if you stand with us. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amana! 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 Now, let's speak about the chauffeur Negroes, the house niggas first. What is a house nigga? Well, a house nigga is somebody like Reverend L. Sharpin. That's right. Jesse Jackson. That's right. They don't speak for us. They don't represent us. That's right. As a matter of fact, Jesse Jackson is the one that coined you African American. So, so. That's about another fifth or sixth name in the last hundred years. We don't want we don't we don't want we don't want the house niggas to help us. Because the house niggas want to take reparations and put you in the same schools, which is the Mahan priesthood. That started this. These same education that got you blind now. They're not teaching you that you're the children of Israel. That's right. So we don't want no reparations money like the house niggas want to stay in this country. Right. And we don't want to be chauffeur Negroes. We don't want to chauffeur Negroes. As much as I love Malcolm X, he was a chauffeur Negro. College niggas. He was a chauffeur Negro. What I mean by chauffeur Negro? You can leave America and visit but come back to your land of oppression. We want to be the field Negroes. The field Negroes was ready to leave. The field Negro was ready to run up out of here at any time because we didn't like the oppression. So who are you? And our message also, this message goes out to the nation of Islam under Minister Farrakhan. Stand with us. Not to stay in America. Becca, the only house of Jalla, right. is waiting for us right. in the negative of Palestine. Come on. It's called Telerod, Minister Farrakhan. Come on. Now, Mr. Farrakhan, Minister Farrakhan, 
you can be a chauffeur Negro mm. and only want Negroes to come out and come back to oppression and stay in America mm. because they're not about to split this country, minister, and all due respect. And if I'm calling myself Tiny Israel, as you said, Minister Farrakhan, we are the children of Israel. This ain't the, this ain't the land of our forefathers. That's right. That's right. And the book of, of Moroni, this was only called the Garden of Eden because we was given rest there. We know the history. But we know the true Becca, the true only house is in Mount Zion, Tel Aviv. Hallelujah! Yeah. And what you bear right now in your flag is the seal of Joseph, the house of Israel. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. So we need you to wake up, Minister Farrakhan, because if you don't, Allah will punish you just like any other man. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Wake up, children of Israel, and prepare yourself to leave. Minister Farrakhan, I tried reaching you in the past. I attempted to reach you in the past. I even came down to Atlanta and I was put to the back, not able to talk to you about the only house of Jala, Becca. If anybody, what is the greatest thing in the world than Minister Farrakhan calling out for all the so-called Muslims of the world to return to Becca? in the land of Israel. Psalms 84. What is the what is the most powerful thing, Minister Farrakhan, than you doing that? That's Calling right. out for Allah's people to return back home. That's right. With reparations and repatriating. That's we hear right. you talking about reparations. But what about repatriation? That's right. That's right. We don't want to stay here. Let them have the country. They can have it. We built it. We can rebuild again. That's right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. We can rebuild again. That's right. Our people generate trillions of dollars each year. And it's not even circulating in our own neighborhood. That's right. We give it back to the press. And I'm going to say something. For all you house Negroes, if you stay here Come on. and put your money back into this country, Come on. instead of leaving and building God's house, you're going to be punished by your press. That's right. That's right. Query 14 is the answer. And leaving America with the American government, American military as our allies, not enemy, arming us, arming the children of Israel. That's right. What is more powerful than that? 2016, the United Nations, and I was there, recognized the so-called Negroes as a nation of people. And they even put something up to recognize you in the headquarters of the UN in New York City, which was a half, which was a black man on a ship, on the half a ship. That was their understanding and recognizing you as a nation of people. So it's time to wake up, so-called African Americans, recognize that you are the children of Israel, not want to stay here under your oppressors, but to leave America with reparations and be repatriated with your gold and silver, not to get comfortable, but to go back home and rebuild Jah Allah House and Becca. Hallelujah! Hallelujah.